Hi, I'm Johnny Peckerford. I'm a proprietor of the movement of metrosexual millennial douchebags. I am also a god of emo rock. I own several Hawthorne Heights albums, and I would like to discuss with you today the importance of knowing your penis is a sword that stabs vaginas, and it's not right. Just because the penis is capable of all making a brutally hard penetration to the vag hole, doesn't mean it should happen. That's how children's come about. That's how accidents happen. Like me, John J. Pucker farts. My daddy lived in a trailer. <laughs> daddy loves me. Do I like pink or purple better? Oh, um, I have a, a lot of VHSs that I would like to unload on you for free 30, free 99 people, okay? Because these are just too brutal. These things will increase your testosterone and have you to have thoughts like, man, maybe I should punch that guy and said something. And you don't need that in your life. So, we got Voltron, we've got New Jack City for all the urban ladies, more Voltron, cause that's gay, and by gay I mean manly, we have Bruce Lee, I didn't even open that, that would be noise, Schwarzenegger, who needs those muscles, and of course, Scarface, damn it, for those urban men that love Italian guys in movies, but then they make fun of us later, damn it, this is America! Wait a minute. I almost had a manly thought. <laughs> My full on vagina started around the time when I was a stunt double on the movie The Interview for that Rogan character. Um, I was gonna be him, and then the guy said, You know, this Franco guy sounds kind of Mediterranean. It might be more up your alley. So I was a weed stunt double guy number four, because Franco doesn't actually hit any weed. He just pretends to and like shows sass and stuff. It's kind of what goes down, but he's still cool. So anyway, I was the weed double, and I got to meet Kim Jong Young Wools. And when he reassured me, the nuclear bombs do not exist. They only exist in the minds of tyrants. And he blessed me with a new edition, autographed, unfucking open, sealed thing with like a Puff Daddy remix. And then I sent him back some LSG. You guys remember that? Um, that's Levert Sweat and Gill. Very strong stuff, and then, you know, just because I'm a cool guy, I threw in a little queen pen. Because people don't understand um, my broad musical backgrounds from having a vagina. So, like, you know, back to what I was spraying about that other thing, man. You know what I'm saying? When you think a penis is all gorgeous with blood, because that's basically what an erection is. A penis, just blood rushing in the fucking head. And you take that shit, mm, ram it onto a dead little crevice, you think you're all super smooth, you think you're a pimp. In fact, in that small moment of sweet love... You are surrendering your sword. Your penis is becoming a vagina. And Kim Jong taught me that. You might think it's cool and smooth and slippery, but it's a goddamn trick. It's a homosexual act. It's gay energy. Then Kim Jong sucked my dick. America. Hey, take it from me, kids. I was there to see the penis slip into the mouth. But before you blame Big Tobacco, you blame Donald Trump for this, you blame America. Just goddamn no! I got a vagina growing out of my pants. Look at it. It's coming out here. There ain't no penis anymore. You took it. You cut it off. You took my manhood. You turned me emo Elmo. And you're gonna pay. You see, if one simple mind believes the smallest brunity of a nuclear holocaust, why would one individual go to the internet and talk junk about my brother? Kim Jong-un, or my fucking uncle, Donald Trump, or my neglected father, Obama. Why would you talk shit junk to a powerful man? A powerful man like I? Because you're a fucking idiot, man. And you're gonna get your fucking dick cut off. Oh, because you're a pussy, man. I'm fucking sick of you all. I'm sick of repressing all this violent anger and shit, man. You're gonna sit around eating rice and beans, smoking weed, doesn't fucking cut it all. George Lopez ain't that funny, man. Fuck him! You fucking do! <laughs> I can't believe I fucking lied about Lopez to prove a point! Dumb! 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 Dude, you know you love Lopez! His mom, I need a smoke and a beer! I connected! God! I'm a sick individual! I think I'm in it! Where's my life alert bracelet? I'm falling and I, I'm getting up! I am up! Oh, I was in a heart attack! Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Dude, I think I got-
got a penis again! <laughs> America! Fuck yeah! Kick in your cunt every fucking day! I said cunt!